How long have you guys been here? About 30 years. Right. And lately, in the last few months, we've noticed a smell, sewer smell, coming from this, this bathroom. Though. Okay. Is it all the time? No, it's not. Okay. Not too bad right now. No, we've noticed that uh, the smell occurs whenever we use one of the fixtures upstairs. Okay. So and then we also notice that in the toilet, the water, we have movement of the water here when we flush upstairs or use the shower. All right, can you do me a favor? Can you run up and just go flush the upstairs toilet sure. for me? Oh yeah. Well, did you see it? Absolutely, that water level bounced when you flush the toilet, and it really shouldn't. Anytime I see that, it suggests it's something to do with the venting system. The air that's inside that pipe is not getting out through the roof. Well, that's what we thought, and we called a plumber who came over and put a uh, camera down our vent. Okay, so that's right down here? Yes, to the right. Okay, so we are right behind the bathroom, and here is your drain, waste, and vent system for the whole house. Got a clean out right here. The drain line probably goes underneath the bathroom and out the back of the building. Now you can see right here, here's where the water comes from the lavatory right behind us. The toilet comes into here. But at this point, this pipe right here, this full size pipe goes out through the top of the roof and acts as a vent to let the sewer gases come and go. A lot of times we find that animals get up into the top of it, they, you know, the methane makes them die, they fall down in and then they clog the vent. Now, did they run the drain camera down? Yes, they did and they didn't find anything. Of course. All right, so what else did they check? So the next step was to <coughs> remove this cap and put the camera down this drain. And what did they find? They found that 22 feet away, uh, there was a water accumulation. Now, there shouldn't be any water in a drain line. Think about it. That drain line goes out like this with pitch. There shouldn't be any water except at the moments when you're running water or flushing something. So they found water? They found water. So where's 22 feet take us? Up here into the far corner. Uh, look at you. You've been busy. You've been digging? I have been digging. Wow. There's an access door here, and I removed that, broke through the concrete, yeah. and started to dig, and this is what I found. Now, that's not what I would expect. I would have thought that the line would leave and go out to the street, or this way or that way, but it doesn't. It actually turns upwards. It doesn't really go too far, does it? It must go out, maybe an old downspout line. Let me do this. Let me go out and grab my camera and see if we can figure out this thing. All right, Rich, here is a sort of a drain snake, except it doesn't have a clean out at the end. It actually has a camera and a light. You can see me. Let's see what the, the previous guy saw. So we're going to go down through the drain. Now I'm down in the horizontal. Oh, look at You see that? There's water in the pipe. Shouldn't be water there. We're underwater. Now we're going 10 feet. It starts to get less water. That's weird. Okay. So let's keep going out. All right. So as we get out a little ways here, now look at this. Now the pipe. The pipe takes a turn. You see, it no longer goes straight. Now, if I was seeing a stoppage, I'd expect to see tree roots or some sort of thing, but this doesn't. This actually dives downward, and there's standing water right there. I think I know what this, what this might be. So, Rich, I made a mock-up out of PVC of what I think might exist underneath us somewhere right here. It would be cast iron, but this is the PVC version of it. You know, our camera is sitting at a place right about here, I think, and right below it is a thing called a house trap. Now, house trap is filled with water from here to this point. They're also called rat traps because back when you had a cesspool, they were worried about rats or rodents coming straight up the pipe into the building. With the water seal right here, it meant that the rodent wouldn't go readily through the water. Now, these have fallen out of favor for a lot of reasons. One is you can't just run a drain snake to clear a stoppage. You know, without the trap, you could come right through, it would clean the line, it would go out and get the tree roots and stuff like that. Yeah. With a rat trap like this, a house trap, it means I could have a stoppage here, I could have a partial stoppage here, but I could never get at it, okay? I see. Now, to get around it, they always had cleanouts, and that would let you come in this way or come in this way, but it required that this whole house trap was readily accessible. I would have assumed it was right here in the access right. panel. Now, we know that we're 20 or 22 feet from point A over there, but we don't know whether it's here, over here, 
it could be outside the building. So what I've brought is the next generation of this drain camera locator. The camera sends out a transmission signal and this is a locator to tell exactly where the head of the camera is. So it's pretty cool beans. So let me just power it up and we're gonna find this thing. So this thing is sending out, the head of the camera is sending out a magnetic signal, much like the Earth has a north and a south pole. Yes. And the head of the camera represents the equator. So I'm gonna find the two poles. Just grab those two red markers, okay? Put one down right underneath me right there. Okay, so now it tells me the pipe goes this way. And the other, the other pole is right there. Mark it right there. And guess where the equator is, Rich? Right in the center. We hope. Okay, right there. Just drop your yellow right there, okay? So that tells us that that is the exact location of the head of the camera. It also tells us that it's two feet, eight inches down. All right, so that is not pretty though, because we still means we're gonna have to dig all this up if we're gonna go after this house trap. Before I have you do that, there's one more thing that's bugging me, and that is all that water that was in that pipe early on. I think we've got to do one more test to determine if this is the cause of the problem or there. Let me show you. All right, so let's just review. Here's our house trap, and we have a camera that's sitting right about here, and we can see the water level right here, and this whole trap is filled with water. And we really want to prove whether or not we have a partial or full obstruction in the trap or in the line that goes out to the street. So, in normal operation, when we flush a toilet, this water level should stay where it is. But if there's a little restriction, the level will probably back up, it'll obscure the lens, and it'll take a while for it to drain back down. So why don't you flush the toilet and give it a test. Okay. Interesting. Hey, you know, that we just proved that this trap actually it does not have a restriction in it. That water went through it, but I saw something else. I saw the level go down, which makes me want to check one more thing. Do you remember the water that we saw early on? Let's just pull yes. this back. Yeah. At 15 feet out, there's water. This is just a little bit of water. See how it's in the bottom third? Yeah. But now as we come back, see this? At 10 feet out, the pipe is almost filled with water. Still at nine, eight. So now we're back to what, three feet, and I start to see the lens again. All right, so from 15 to three feet, it's filled with water. That's 12 feet of water in the pipe. I think I know what the issue is. I think the pipe has sagged. Imagine this house was built 60 years ago. Plumbers would have come along and done these cast iron joints that have poured lead, and they would have laid them onto sand underneath that bathroom and I think over time maybe the sand let go and now the fittings let go and the pipe sags like this. Okay. That pipe now is going to have a place where it sits with water in it and now you've created another trap. You end up with a trap out of the house trap, another one back here. Now you flush a toilet, the air that's in the pipe needs a place to go. It starts pushing backwards and now it makes the toilet bounce like you have mm -hmm. and it might also make those cracks in the fittings under the ground might let sewer gas come out underneath and might seep up through the concrete. And now it's where the smell is coming. I think so. So, what's the solution? Well, we know from 3 feet to 15 feet that pipe is sagged. It means the only way to do it is to go after it by opening up that floor, which means bathroom model, a trench in the bathroom, and open it up and replace the pipe and then remodel the bathroom. And I tell you, if you're going to go that far, you're going to be within 3 feet of of this, I'd probably get rid of the house trap too, because then at least with all that brand new, it'll pitch properly, it'll vent properly, and you'll have the ability to actually clear the drain in the future should you need it. Well, that's a big job. It is. Don't shoot the messenger, I'm sorry. Well, I really appreciate you coming and helping us identify the problem, right. and now we'll work on fixing it. All right, my friend. Thanks for your help. Thank you. You know, you're not always the bearer of bad news. You had some good news back in 02. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> now, these plumbing stories are hard to see when we're out in the field, so I made a little mock-up to help understand oh, what's going on inside. Well, right? This is made out of PVC. It's not exactly the scale. But any house has a main 
drain and a main vent, a main stack that goes out completely out through the roof. And, and we essentially saw that with the clean That's out right. of the basement That's and right. this going up through and the roof. And it's made out of that material right there, cast iron in this case, okay? Yeah. This is just PVC. But next to it, there's always a separate stack, and that's called the vent stack, mm -hmm. okay? And all the systems have to work together. So in the case of this building, this is, represents underneath the toilet on the second floor. Right. And this is the lavatory on the second floor. Now, when you flush the toilet, a big slug of water comes down. And it's going to push down. Here it comes right here. But there's already air inside this pipe that has to get out of the way somehow. You can't right. compress this air. Right. So now normally it might push that air ahead and put it right out into the sewer. Mm. Right? But we have this house trap right here that acts as a resistance point. Air can't go by the water seal that's inside the trap. Right. So we'd love it to go right here up through this branch because this represents the basement toilet right here. Here's the basement lavatory. Yep. This is called a wet vent, a vent that continues up. But this whole pipe, as we determined in the field, had settled so much that if I was to look at this fitting right here, it might look like this. So it's half filled with, more than half filled with water, which means the vent is completely blocked. Oh, because this is actually smaller than diameter correct, of the big pipe, correct. so that's blocked. Right. So, so now we've got a slug of water on this side, right. a Resistance. slug of water on this right. side. So now with that slug of air that's here being compressed has no other choice. Mm. It has to go somewhere except to push this way up underneath that basement toilet and bubble up through that water seal in the toilet, and every time it bubbles through, you're going to get that sewer gas smell. So the su this is basically sewer gas that was in the pipes. That's right. And once it bubbled up, he got that smell, yeah. he got that yeah, bouncing that's in the right. water. You needed a place to go. You have to have properly vented fixtures in a house for every plumbing fixture to work. Right. Well, you know what? This tells that story that's very right. well. I hope so. Cool. Great investigation work. Thanks.